Many years ago, I was a kind of unhealthy person. I, I had some kidney uh, problems, so that's why cold water was a problem for me. So at a certain moment, I realized that my kidneys uh, reflect the fears that I have inside. And I realized that in order to develop myself further, I have to overcome that barrier and I have to believe in myself. I, I have to destroy all that fears. Also, uh, there is a belief among free divers that they have to uh, normally, they free dive in tropical seas where the water temperature is quite comfortable, where the visibility is very good, and uh, where, they, uh, where, where there are no currents, and where they don't have to use uh, uh, thick wetsuits. Uh, so I realized that I was a kind of restricted free diver. I cannot dive anywhere I want to. So I said to myself, I have to try it in the cold water under the ice, where the visibility is very uh, poor, where it is really cold, where we have a thick layer of uh, ice. I had to free dive there naked, because I was told that um, the beluga whales don't really like uh, any sort of wetsuit, because they... Uh, they, they uh, sonar the uh, the suits and uh, they just dislike that. That was a springtime and the outside temperature was around plus five, plus ten degrees in Celsius. And we uh, tried to, and I had to dive with having no a, any uh, thermal protection. So, so <laughs> when I happened to be in the water for the first time, I had my... Um, seven millimeters wetsuit, I put my face down and I said to myself, how are you going to do that? You're not going to survive. But then I took off my mask and slowly, slowly, I started to put myself, uh, my face down, trying to produce an inner smile. I was uh, breathing s through the snorkel and uh, with my eyes open, <clears throat> and in two minutes, I felt something special with my eyes. My eyes were open, but it felt as if I was um, starting to tear. Uh, then I had a conversation with our doctor, and I told him what I felt, and he, he said, you're crazy. <laughs> because your eyes were about to get, uh, you would lose the vision. <laughs> you would become blind. But anyway, I had to survive and I had to, to do what I had to do. So slowly, slowly, step by step, every day I was um, putting myself into the water, trying to uh, keep the inner smile and the heart open. That was the idea. Uh, at a certain moment, uh, when the belugas were around, they, we were acquainted with each other already and they knew me when I was uh, wearing my wetsuit. Playful and they started communication easily. Uh, you, can see, you can see at the slide that they, they are very close and actually I did nothing to, 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 to make such a shot that just came to me naturally and they took me whenever they wanted to. But when I was naked, they, uh, you see, the first one is trying, <coughs> is already trying to rescue me. They were, and the second one is approaching. That I was very vulnerable and they tried to rescue me. And at that moment they were more human. Oh. <laughs> um, so at that moment I spent uh, in the water uh, more than 12 minutes and we know from the description, uh, from the scientific works, that normally uh, after five minutes, the physiological um, irreversible uh, consequences start with the body. After eight minutes, people normally die. I'm in front of you. <laughs> so, 
Um, uh, what did I do? So, what did I do? I, um, I, I produced the inner smile. Actually, the inner smile is a very essential tool to be efficient in your life. When we, uh, in, uh, when we uh, uh, smile in our inner world, producing from the inner part to the outside world, this is the moment when instead of 43 muscles, we use only uh, 17 muscles. So the rest of them are relaxed and we consume less oxygen. Also, uh, the inner smile helps you to um, start uh, the brain functioning in alpha rhythm. Because uh, I, I, I'm sure you know that most of the time uh, human beings uh, live in beta rhythm. We are quite spontaneous. It's really hard to stop thinking. It's really hard to stop uh, inner dialogue. Um, another, um, another thing that really helps is uh, uh, whistling breathing. I call it whistling breathing because we're going to produce a whistling sound now. Okay. Now, you are going to sit straight. Okay, now we inhale through the nose and we exhale through the mouth. And while exhaling, we produce a, li a little uh, whistling sound, like an ultrasound. Uh, you can close your hand, you can open, uh, you can keep your eyes open, but then you have to be focused uh, at one object and please don't move your eyes. Now we are inhaling, we are taking a full breath through the nose and we exhale as long as you can through the mouth. It can take long time. <laughs> but let's, let's practice together. I, I, want, I, I would love you to enjoy this moment because uh, this is a really universal and excellent tool for starting your alpha rhythm and also for getting relaxed, for decreasing your heart rate. Uh, it takes only six breaths to practically to harmonize the blood pressure. And uh, definitely uh, you can see that physiology is very much related to breathing and also to your mental state. Now let's breathe. <laughs> so inhale and slowly, 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 exhale, exhale, the flow is relaxed. You don't have obstacles, you just breathe out and try to exhale as much as you can. I can hear, it's very good. And let's, 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 let's do it again. Inhale. 함께 해보기로 하겠습니다. 숨 들여 마시고. And exhale. 내쉽니다.
Sometimes I can do it forever. <laughs> you see the moments when I lost control. <laughs> 이 순간에는 제가 지금 좀 컨트롤을 못 해가지고. It was okay when uh, when I was stepping to the water when the water level uh, was at the knee level, at the stomach level, but when the water came to my heart level, I couldn't control my heart open anymore. And at that moment, the beluga whales felt that. There was something wrong with me because normally they knew me as a very friendly and uh, harmonious person, maybe. But at that moment, I <laughs> you see the face, it's shocking cold. I lost control and, and then I, I needed to spend more time with them. They uh, would feel that I was the same but very vulnerable. You see, they were quite close to me. But still, I had my eyes open. That was quite dangerous. But I found the way to, uh, to become warm enough. And after 12 minutes, I didn't even uh, have any need to get warm back. <laughs> Just um, uh, hyperventilated a little bit. I can show it to you. It's, it looks really funny. Uh, norm, uh, this uh, exercise. Uh, is used by the yoga people who uh, live uh, in Tibetan mountains. It, it warms up easily. <laughs> I think it's okay. So I use that exercise to to get warm, <laughs> and maybe two minutes. Is that yeah. Okay. So and uh, if you are submerged to the water like this, uh, the head uh, gives 75 percent away immediately. Oh, okay. <laughs> Um, so that was the experience. That was the experience. And uh, also, uh, this is the moment when the whales are very close to me and I'm trying to, in a smile, and to, to keep my heart open. Um, in order to, so as you probably see, free diving might become as one of the tools to redefine our limits. Uh, I'm running a free diving school in Russia, and every time when I teach free diving, my students experience the urge to breathe. We normally want to breathe after a certain per period of time because the CO2 level increases, and our body is um, sensitive to the level of CO2. Normally when CO2 is quite high, uh, people start having uh, the urge to breathe. And normally uh, some people think that it's physically unpleasant. You have the tension here and your intercostal muscles and your diaphragm just work in a hard way. Yeah. So, for example, if your nose is blocked, if you're cold, if you, if you have the first stage of flu, you can breathe like this. Uh, you use your abdominal muscles. Your upper chest is absolutely relaxed. And uh, you exhale actively and you, ha you take a passive inhale. Inhale. Like this. And you breathe through the nose. 그리고 코를 통해서 숨 쉬십니다. Then you have a feeling of freshness here in the nasal cavities. 그렇게 되면 Also it cleanses uh, your brain vessels. It's very very good. It's very helpful. So in order to become effective in my life, in order to become effective in my breath holds, I use this method, Kapalabhati. <laughs> then I take um, several uh, whistling breaths like
Also, the whistling breathing is very good if you feel uncomfortable or if you are ready to explode. Yeah. It's good to control your emotions. <coughs> and then uh, several breaths of, uh, uh, with the light. The light goes down from the universe through you and then back. And then I take my full inhale like this. And then I hold my breath. 들이시고 그리고 어, 숨을 참습니다. Um, now, so in order, in order to, to be sufficient in free diving, we have to change our personality. We have to be, we have to be open, 마음을 열고, transparent, 투명하고 명쾌해야 합니다. we have to be clean inside and we have to have clean souls. We have to be flexible in terms of re reacting to reality. We have to be acceptive, positive. We have to be observers. We have to love each other. And we have to love the world. We have to be relaxed. We have to be here and now. 그리고 지금 여기를 놓치지 않아야 됩니다. And we should be process oriented, not the result oriented. 그리고 and if you ask me why am I doing all that thing? 많이 여러분 I can tell you that in the blue where time learns the sense of endless space. 푸른 바닷속 I have enjoyed the life in inter in um Infinity dumpster and wait in silence for the moment of harmony and grace. 그리고 of true love. 진정한 사랑의 순간. The moment of first breath. 첫... My way to free diving and free diving is the breath hold and uh, diving, holding your breath vertically uh, to the depth or horizontally reaching a certain distance or free diving is a static breath hold when you practically do nothing and you are in the water with your face down and you hold your breath. Uh, I happen to become a free diver uh, in a strange situation. I was a scuba diver, so I was diving with uh, tanks uh, using the uh, air from the tanks, but uh, one day all my equipment was stolen, so I had no any choice. I had to start holding my breath and uh, diving without any equipment. Take a free <laughs> <laughs> and uh, at that moment, free diving was a recreational activity for me because I was really in love with the sea, with the ocean, and with all the animals and creatures living there. That was my passion because in the past, when I was a child, I was a swimmer. So every day I was related to the water. And also, um, free diving was a part of... Uh, a fitness program for me because at that moment I experienced certain um, obstacles in my life. I ate really a lot, especially sweet products, and I started to gain some weight. I lost my weight easily, and uh, recreational activity became more uh, like a sport. I became more professional, and at a certain point, I realized that free diving is not about reaching the distance or reaching the depth. It's about breathing. It's about uh, extending your limits. It's about looking inside yourself and facing who you are in reality. The water and the sea, they are like the mirrors. When you are there and if you have the question, you just step into the water, you put your face down and then you see uh, 
who you are inside. You, you see all uh, your mental blocks, all your limits, everything. And definitely if you, if you want to go on holding your breath, you have to overcome all the limits. And you have to overcome all sorts of, uh, I would say, mental garbage. It's very important to, uh, to, to become empty. It's very important not to have thoughts. It's very important to stop the thinking process. It's very important to seize the moment and to be here and now. Uh, also, it's very important to become an observer, not to, to be involved into what you're doing, but to observe everything. You become empty and then you just follow the flow. You feel it. Mm -hmm. Also, uh, you have to open your heart. It's important to, to be open and acceptive. Instead of taking policy, a good freediver should, um, should run a giving policy. We give more. We serve the people. We serve the uh, reality. So, I would say that a successful uh, free dive is a, a combination of 20% physical training and 80%, maybe a little bit more, uh, mental or uh, brain training. And mental aspects of training depends a lot on what you are doing. Definitely, uh, it depends on proper breathing, how you breathe up before you dive or how you, br how you breathe in your everyday life. Yes. Another thing that I uh, encountered with uh, when I was practicing, for example, static breath holds, is the importance of inner smile. Relax, relax your tongue and relax your eyes. And now, just breathe through your nose. 코로 들이마시고. Inhale and exhale through the nose, and the exhale should be two, time, two times longer than the inhale. Exhale should be two times longer than the inhale. Okay. Inhale. 들이마시고. And exhale. 내쉬고. And extend the inner smile 그리고 계속 내면의 미소에 집중합니다. inhale 들이마시고 exhale 내쉬고 inhale 들이마시고 exhale 내쉬고 and now we are try now we are going to try to uh, position the inner smile at the level of your middle danjiang in the, in the middle of uh, the heart center. Just move that smile from your lips to the heart center. And while exhaling, try to extend the smile. Smile wider, smile more. With all your open heart. Inhale. And exhale and smile. 내쉬면서 그 내면의 미소가 계속 커지는 것을 느낍니다. Inhale, 들이마시고, and then exhale, 내쉬고. Inhale, 들이마시고, and exhale, 내쉽니다. And now, while inhaling, we will take the light from from the universe, from the infinity. There will be a, a kind of uh, uh, a, a light ray going from the universe through your head to the heart and down to the uh, lower Danjiang. Danjiang. While inhaling, we're taking the light and the light is going through the body and goes to the floor. And while exhaling, the light goes back through you to the universe. You can feel the light and also you will feel the warmth. Inhale, the light goes from the universe.
through your head, along your spine, and down. And while exhaling, it goes through you back to the universe. Inhale. And then exhale. Inhale. And exhale. And one more time. Inhale. Exhale.